How y'all doing? I know it's lunchtime. Um, so this is Love Savvy Jew, um, episode six. Six. So a gentleman asked, um, why are women monetary centered or or um at the level of a mo monetary as opposed to love, right? Basically, why are women about money as opposed to love? Okay, so I'm gonna say um Possibly, you know, we're looking at both sides. Right? Possibly women, some women are raised that way. Okay. They, they raised to think that, um, the man has to have money, money. And, and I think, um, when, when you are raised that way, you are, it's like teaching you, it teaches you, um, to put your self-esteem where money is. So it has a lot to do uh, with self-esteem. So now your money becomes your self-worth as opposed to having love. And, um, you know, I really, I mean, this is not to judge anyone. Um, I mean, because I was raised differently. It all depends on how you were raised, but you do have a choice to make. And sometimes, and also society like um, pumps that a lot. You know, you hear it in the music, you see it on um different movies and um so it it um it it glorifies that it, it um it pumps that you know it, it it um validates that way of thinking um so i grew up differently i mean um that's why i don't want to judge cuz you know my my the way i grew up like my dad he's he's a retired surgeon so um but my mom, she wasn't flashy. Like she wasn't, you know, if you're in Africa and you're, you're a surgeon and you're in the medical field, you are living life, baby, right? Uh, but my mother, she, she wasn't flashy. She, it just like, you know, she was too busy taking care of her family and her, um, I don't know, her kids and all this and that. Um, I mean, even though we had house help and everything, um, but she was too busy, you know, participating in uh, life, right? The reality of life. And she wasn't flashy. Like, you would think she's married to, a, a, you know, the regular person, the regular uh, nine-to-five person, the average nine-to-five person. And, uh, of course, when he came here, he had to, like, start over and um, do per diem. And by the time he got his license again, you know, Part of it his fault because <laughs> you know too proud to ask for help to you know pass the exams uh you know no matter how smart you are there's always a way to pass a test well you know by the time he you know he got his licensing here um we already like we're grown without the house and stuff like that and um you know in college most of us um but yeah my mother was was not, so i grew up differently like my mother was not flash i mean he he had a, uh, we had like two, was it two or three Mercedes Benz? And one of them was for her, but she wasn't driving it. Like she, she was learning how to drive, but she wasn't eager to drive it. You know, she wasn't like, ah, oh, got Mercedes Benz, <laughs> you know, driving around. Like she, it was just there. So, um, so I grew up like very much like it was, I didn't even know we had a well. That's how I grew up because of my mom. You know, my mom was not like that. Um, it, it just wasn't. She just, it just wasn't in her head like that. It wasn't, she, her head wasn't there. Um, so for some people, they grow up like, oh, you got to get a man that has money, you know, or he don't mean anything. And it becomes your self-esteem. You know, it becomes like, okay, if you have money, then you're, you're worth something. Like having money becomes your self-esteem, your worth. And um, let me see what else I want to say about it. Yeah, that's, that's basically like... What became my self esteem? Like my dad ingrained um, education, so there were times where it was so much pressure. I didn't do well in school, and then there were times where I did so well in school, and um, and that was like my self esteem. It's like, oh, now I feel good about myself when I do well in school. It all depended on how well I did, and what was my worth, you know. So, and then I, and then it it, it triggered depression, right? And like I had a micro depression for a while. But that's what I have to say um, when you grow up uh, 
being taught that money is is it, it becomes your self esteem. You know, it becomes like if you don't have money or if you don't have a man with money, then it reflects on your worth. So that's my two cents for today. Uh, the next question is actually from the same person. He is asking, um, do women cheat more than men? Okay, so uh, so join me next time on the question, do women cheat more than men? So what do you guys think? Just comment on the comment section. And um, I will see you soon. All right, you have a great one. Soulmates, have a great lunch. Peace and soul.